right? We're going to be doing racing one more time. Gasparilla yeah, second, the Abba Downey Grand Prix, round 23 and 24. Two races left this season. The roar of the crowd can only really mean one thing. Race day has arrived here in Abu Dhabi. It's time to join our teams who are getting ready down on the grid. We have 21 corners here at the AS Marina circuit, 12 to the left and nine to the right. It's a total lap distance of just over 3.4 miles. There are two long back straights opening up some passing opportunities into the braking zones and we expect average lap speeds of around 123 miles an hour. Anthony Davidson is with me once again to take you through today's action, and we have plenty of twists and turns to come over the next hour or so, I'm sure. Why don't we start by talking about Valtteri Bottas? Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position. But are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? A couple of favourites for the win then, but who comes out on top doesn't really matter as long as they give us an entertaining show en route to the chequered flag. And we want to see fair fighting, of course, out there on the track. Let's hope the stewards don't have to get involved too much today. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Hamilton, Yuki Tsunoda, and Vettel, Ricardo, Norris, Stroll, and Carlos Sainz. Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Pierre Gasly, and Leclerc, Mazepin, Russell, Mick Schumacher, and Antonio Giovinazzi. Latifi and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Here's the Asbury second. On the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Go. Position. You're in fourth position. Perez is ahead of you. The gap is less than a second. Zenoda is behind you. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Just three laps to go now. Three laps. Now the third. Seventeen. Oh, I'm looking inside on Sergio Perez. Are we going to play deep? Perez will come back. Stays ahead of him. He's up into P3. He goes all the way wide into the top 19. Turn 20, I should say. Turn 21. Turn 44, 3. Makes a step past my ball from race. Start my turn 3. Here in the gas and three circuit. The Abbott Dalby Grand Prix.
Milton Keynes then after a quality performance. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving. From nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, got him down the back. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? It's got to be Lewis Hamilton. I mean, he pulled off some impressive feats out on the track today, even by his standards. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. rounds the top 10. Charles Clever 11, Peter Gasly 12, and Aaron Nelson 13, and Tony Gifanti 14, Vest Falcon 15, George Russell 16, and Pete Messer 17, and Michel 18, and Michel 18, and Nicholas and Tiki 27, 20, and last place. And the Saints, Hamilton also on 589 over at Boundary Bodice, and now the Destructor standing to the seat, and Charles Huff 926 over, over Red Bull. And that's it for Gasly.